All right, so we have to get an update on what happened with our texting tutor. So we talked to Ashley um, about a week ago, and she wanted to kick her pregnant sister out of the bachelorette party. I know that sounds harsh, but there was like... Um, there was a, a significant amount of reasoning behind it. So Ashley is getting married and she's stoked about this bachelorette party that they were in the middle of planning to Miami and she wanted to go all out. But her sister, who is pregnant, is going to be about five months along by the time they take this bachelorette trip. And she's worried that her sister is going to be a succubus of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, she's not going to want to go out. And not only is she not going to want to go out, but she's not going to want everybody else to go out. And if they do go out, she's going to want them to come back early. So we tried texting her sister to convince her, hey, maybe this trip isn't for you. And we're giving you an out. Not going to hurt our feelings if you don't go, if you want to sit this one out. But um, her 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 sister wasn't having it. Um, she kind of gave us like the thumbs up. Like, okay. I'll just go along, right? Yeah, and like she needed to be there to babysit was one of the things she said. And that obviously got Ashley like in a tizzy. She's like, we don't need a babysitter. We just want to go and have fun. I don't need like somebody hounding me about cutting back. Like this is about letting loose, raging, having a good time. And so now we have to check in with Ashley and see if there was any follow-up to the texting conversation with her sister and if everything is still good to go when it comes to the bachelorette party in Miami. Hey, Ashley. Hi. Hi. Okay. Any new news? Uh, yeah. Um, actually, pretty bad. Uh, my sister, after all that, uh, decided to hijack my bachelorette party. No. Wow. How so? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, she took it upon herself to start a group text with my bridesmaids and everyone else who was going to come to the bachelorette, left me off, and now she's planning her perfect bachelorette party, not mine. Oh, my God. Wait, say that what? one more time. She's, like, completely taken over the party. Like, so, so nothing had officially been booked or paid for. So she told everyone in a group text that did not have me on it that we're not going to Miami anymore. No, she I did it. And That's, then... Who does this? Okay, and then... Yeah, so the, she actually told everyone that I had a change of heart <gasps> and wanted something low-key and relaxing to ease the stress of wedding planning. Oh, my God. That is diabolical. As if you wouldn't mm-hmm. find out. Right. Um, okay, so let's back up for a second here, because I'm guessing that this is not out of the ordinary for your sister. Uh, I mean, this is kind of next level. This doesn't seem you like know? the kind of evil that happens overnight. You got to build that muscle. Or right. is this her villain origin story that we're witnessing? Damn. But it's the baby. <laughs> it's the evil baby. It's the baby that's it's causing the, the hormones for her to react. It's like the this. spawn. You want to invite her at this point, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. I know Absolutely. she's your sister and your maid of honor, but she went behind your back and against your wishes. You text all of your bridesmaids and then you text your sister and you say, hey, I'm uninviting you from the bachelorette for stabbing me in the back. For sure, right? Is is that what's going on at this point? I mean, I haven't. Okay, so basically, like, I found out because there was an email. She's done all this texting with everyone. There was an email, and I was on the email about this party. And since it was to everybody, I couldn't, like, I didn't feel like I, I wasn't going to go off on her own email, you know? And I haven't talked to her since I got that email. I talked to another bridesmaid and told her that my sister made it all up so that she wouldn't have to go to Miami. And I just, I'm afraid I'm going to say something I'll regret, but I'm re- I'm really mad. <laughs> and I don't want to do this. Like, I, I mean, if you want the details of what it is, it's like this boring bachelorette in the Tennessee mountains rather than the rager that I wanted in Miami, the party, you know? Oh, no. And, or instead of uninviting her sister, does she just reach out to all of her bridesmaids and say, anything that comes from my sister, you would completely ignore. This is what I want. Leave her off all communication. And then she's blindsided when you're like, surprise, it's in Miami anyway, B. Well, I mean, I think you got to kick her out of that role, right? And have somebody else take that role over so she doesn't have to plan all this thing. I mean, she brought this on herself. Yeah, and she's clearly not in your corner and doesn't want to do. So if she's doing this for the bachelorette, imagine if she wants something for your wedding that you don't want. All right. She's already gone behind no. your back. She's proven to you she's not in your corner. She doesn't care what you want. I mean, I would replace her. I would too. Yeah, the, entitle- the entitlement is crazy. Really crazy. Like, I'm yes. surprised this would be the first time that she's done something like this. So I think you do. You have to reach out to all of the bridesmaids and say, whatever my sister says is not, th- this is what we're doing. 
Yeah, I guess just what really sucks because she did all this behind behind my back is that she's already she's already paid for this. Like she's she's taking money from my girls. Like they've Venmoed her wow. for this oh, Tennessee wow. mountain retreat. Is it? Well, it's, I mean, d- I, it's done done. Well, she has the money. I I, I I can I can you know do my best to force her to give it back. I mean, she has to, right? She can't keep their money. I mean, you you, you guys are grown ass women, but. Is it time to get the parents involved in something like that? Mom! Like, don't you get the parents involved in a, in a case like this? I would handle this one uh, myself. Yeah, I mean, I feel... I, I don't want to get my parents involved. It feels juvenile. Um, I, I mean, but may, maybe that's a last resort if she doesn't give my friends their money back. But again, she's like, she's paid for it. I don't know what the deal is with cancellations. Like, she's gone. She's made the plan. I don't understand your hesitancy to want to jump in front of this and get her away from yes. everyone because mm-hmm. she clearly, I mean, it's not as if she thinks she can do this without you finding out. So she clearly <laughs> does not care. And this is a level of evil I don't okay. even understand. Yeah. You need to jump on this. Ashley, I have an yeah. idea. I, I, and I don't okay. know, like, I don't want, know what any everybody's financial status is and if this would be even possible, right? Um, I don't know how much they have put in for this airbnb vrbo whatever you've gotten in the tennessee mountains right so what if nobody says anything she plans this and she's the only one to show Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then if no nobody shows mm-hmm. so she is there and then you plan a weekend in miami without her maybe that's the way to go because I couldn't imagine yeah. it being like super expensive. Like I mean, I'm sure I, I it, again don't know what everybody's economic status is or where their what their financial standing is. But if they're willing just to like, go, like let that be a wash, and then you guys plan maybe a little bit lower key, not as bougie trip to Miami, but do that instead and don't invite her. I think that would send. a that would send a very direct message. I think so, too. Let her go there. <laughs> or you just confront her on it. You got, I mean, there's nothing yeah. to lose with you confronting on it and saying, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, it might not even be too late. Like, maybe this Airbnb is refundable, so I would mm-hmm. find that out. And then if it's not, let's yeah. go with Chris's plan. Yeah, man. You got to do it now. Yeah. Either way. The Burt Show.